Chris Entz here with another moment in history in the book Entertaining Women, Actresses, Dancers, and Singers in the Old West. Socialite turned actress and theater manager Catherine Norton Sinclair met her husband Edwin Forrest while performing together in a Shakespearean play in the late 1840s. In the beginning, their marriage was wonderful. They were the darlings of the theater set and had marvelous chemistry on stage. Over time, however, the relationship took a turn. Catherine, who had a hobby of creating perfumes and colognes, believed the spark might return if she produced a cologne that would make Edwin irresistible to her. It didn't work. She ended up having an affair with one of the actors in the play where she was starring. I don't really understand some of the colognes made for men. I mean, why do makers of these products think women like the smell of horse saddles and pine sap? And even if we did, why would we want our romantic interest to smell like that? If a man wanted me to follow him down the street, he should wear something like Rocky Road ice cream, butter cookies, or better yet, fried chicken. Catherine Sinclair broke up with her husband by sending him letters written between herself and her lover. It was very cruel. When my ex-husband left me, he sent me pictures of himself with his girlfriend in very um, vulnerable positions, let's say. I felt certain he would have wanted me to share those pictures with his mother, so I did. With another moment in history, I'm Chris Sense.